What's up guys, Justin here of Yigitech, and Vivo will officially launch its latest addition to the Y series here in the country in the coming days. I'm talking about this Y20S G. Fortunately, we got our hands on one already, so without further ado, let's see what's inside the box. Opening the box, the first thing you'll be greeted with is this usual smaller box with the SIM ejector tool, manuals, and a jelly case. Under that is the phone itself which we'll set aside for now. Then below you'll find a micro USB cable and the adapter. Now looking at this Vivo Y20 SG, it reminds us a lot of the Vivo Y20i. It still has a glossy polycarbonate back and it creates this ray-like design when you move the device in a different direction. Our unit comes in obsidian black but it's also available in a purest blue colorway. Also at the back we'll find here the vertically stacked triple rear cameras as well as some Vivo branding. There's quite a heft when holding the phone weighing 192 grams due to its massive battery. On the right side we'll find the volume rocker and the power button that also acts as a fingerprint scanner, while on the left is its card tray for 2 nano a SIM card and a micro SD card slot that's expandable up to 256 gigabytes. Nothing can be found up top while at the bottom we have the outdated micro USB port. Yes, you heard that right, a micro USB port. Then there's the 3.5mm headphone jack, the speaker grill and the primary microphone. Up front, we have a 6.51 inch IPS LCD display with 1600 by 720 resolution, as well as the notch that we're used to that houses the front camera and the cult speaker. Now, for the cameras, we have a triple setup consisting of a 13 megapixel wide, a 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. As for selfies, we have an 8 megapixel front shooter. Like usual, we'll dive deeper in our full review, but for now, take a look at the sample photos we got. Under the hood, the Vivo Y20S G is powered by a MediaTek Helio G80 processor that's paired with a Mali G52 GPU, 4 or 6 GB of RAM, and 128 GB of storage. It also runs on the latest FunTouch OS 11 that's based on Android 11. Performance so far is pretty decent. Now for battery, a massive 5000 mAh capacity powers up the device, and it's coupled with 18 watts fast charging support. So this phone is basically a successor to the Y20i that was released in October last year. And looking at this Y20SG, I can't deny that they're pretty similar, especially when it comes to design and some features. But we will still find out in our full review how this device will fare and what's changed. As for the pricing and availability of this Vivo Y20SG, it's yet to be announced as of the creation of this video but for sure it will be an affordable one. So stay tuned for that. And that's it for this quick unboxing and hands-on of the Vivo Y20SG. What are your thoughts about it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.